Hello, everyone. It's a pleasure to have you in my office and to share a thought about Hanukkah with you and hopefully future thoughts of Torah with you. you know, Hanukkah is an amazing yontif. It's extremely relevant, contrary to popular belief. And in reality, when you think about it, there is an inherent question that sort of crops up and stares us in the face uh, in regarding Hanukkah. On the one hand, the Alanisim, we talk about the amazing battle, we talk about the Rabbim Be'at Me'atim, Utmeim Be'at Tahorim. We talk about the fact that there was this small army that was able to conquer an overwhelming force. On the other hand, the Gemara in, in uh, Shabbos talks about the Mai Hanukkah, the essence of Hanukkah being the miracle of the oil, and finding that one flask of oil and that uh, uh, the ability for one day to last for eight days, and that essentially is the aspect which we celebrate uh, in terms of the menorah. Which one really is it? Is it the the miracle of the army, the miracle of the battle, or is it the miracle of the lights? And when you look in Chazal, there is really something that comes out at you in terms of uh, the essence of what Hanukkah is about and really the essence of what Jewish life is about. That's why this message is so relevant. Because while from a historical perspective, there's no question that the the battle was what allowed Klai to remain in Eretz Yisrael and with the base of Migdosh, for many, many years beyond the miracle of Hanukkah, at the end of the day, HaKadosh Baruch was telling us, and the Chazal and the rabbis were teaching us by focusing on the lights and focusing on the celebration through the menorah, that ultimately the key to Jewish survival and the way that we can really determine that our celebration is worthy of a celebration, if it gets back to action, if it gets down to mitzvah, if it gets down to service to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the message is that yes, winning the battle and being part of an amazing victory and being part of a historical time where clearly the Jewish continuity is flourishing again and we are back to a very strong position is wonderful. But if it's not being celebrated within a framework of serving HaKadosh Baruch Hu and doing mitzvot, then ultimately it's not going to survive. The Chazal were giving us a message and they were telling us that while we are happy and we are, while we are celebratory regarding Jewish survival, the key to Jewish survival is getting back to the near mitzvah of Torah, performing the mitzvot, serving a Kaddish Baruch Hu, and of course, day by day, doing the right thing. So Bez Hashem, if we can take this message to, to heart, if we can realize that, yes, we're living in amazing times even today, but the key to surviving these times and the key to thriving in these times is our ability to get back to our core, get back to our mitzvot, get back to serving a Kaddish Baruch Hu, and through that Bez Hashem, we'll merit the ultimate simcha would be Asim Mashiach Meheri Amin.